Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are brand new, I do a lot of different things, but today is coloring. I've got two pictures to show you that have to do with this collab. And if you're not brand new, welcome for returning and welcome for thank you for returning and welcome back. Let me tell you about this collab. It's open and that means that anybody can join and it's if you want to do it, you color something or you create something. It doesn't have to be out of the color book I'm using. It could be any kind of color thing you want to color. You'll want to do all one word, hashtag, color and create with us, you rock art, at Rosemary's You Rock Art. So Rosemary is our host, and she uh, has been doing this for a long time. Um, I am only personally in my second color book with her, uh, but, you know, she may have had several before I even found out about this. So she's a nice lady. Go over and show her some love on her channel at Color and Create With Us. You rock art and see what the others did. If you do this, you'll want to put this information, Color and Create With Us at You Rock Art at Rosemary's You Rock Art, either in your title or your description, and let her know. Okay, so I only used, for this time, I only used Crayola color pencils and a blending stick. So if you don't know what a blending stick is, I'm going to show you if I can get to it quick. Of course, it's the only thing that's not zipped uh, or unzipped. I mean, I've got, a, I've got a little thing here that I have. Okay, <laughs> so these are blending sticks, and really all they are is rolled up paper kind of like um like it I don't know if they still have them because I've been out of school a long time but back in the day the paper towels in bathrooms at school and in gas stations and stuff were real rough that's what these are like but they're rolled tight and so what you do is after you color if you want to blend and I didn't do that with this but I did it with the, the other one um, you can go through and make your colors look a little less with lines a little bit. See, like I could have blended out maybe some of these. Anyway, I didn't. But it's fun to use these. I have a son who, um, I have more than one son who's been through art classes in college. And one of the kids told me, our instructor told us, if you have to use a blending stick, then you're not an artist. <laughs> I've probably told that story before, but I always laugh because I never claimed to be an artist, kiddo. Move along. <laughs> you know. Anyway, here's one that was a couple weeks ago, and I have arthritis in my hands, and so I didn't do it. Now I finally did it. And so it was um, against this black background that came with that. It kind of makes the picture look cool. I don't even know what everybody else really did. Um <sighs> I mean, I saw a few, and they all look good, too. But, you know, they may have completely different ideas of what the flowers would... I'm sure they do have different ideas of what the flowers would look like. And here's today's picture. Um, so, I've got, I tried to get... Let me just show you the whole thing. Okay. Kind of a Jimmy Buffett thing. So, I tried to get a sunset, um, you know, showing on the water and everything. It wasn't actually there, but what I did see, hold on. What I did see was this line right here that to me looked like it didn't belong to anything. So I tried to just create my own setting sun here behind this coconut tree and tried to make the sky look colorful. I'm, I'm really not an artist, so as you can see, clearly. <laughs> Um, and so then I tried to do some shading on the, you know, different parts of the coconut tree. And I didn't know what to do with the stripes. I just didn't have a clue. And, and then there's the water. And I tried to make a reflection. You know, beach balls are usually this color. The ones that I ever got, that just three colors, they were, well, white would be another color. But blue, yellow, and red. So that's what I did. And I really had trouble with his nose. I gave him a brown nose at first to try to be a little darker than his skin. Um, so it didn't work. He looked like he looked like a dog. <laughs> he looked like a um, 
oh, a shepherd, a sheepdog. He looked like a sheepdog with a brown nose. So I tried to make it a little pink, and now it just looks stupid too. So whatever's. <laughs> Not every picture will be a masterpiece. Um, little skin tone, probably not picking it up on the camera, and I don't know who the uh, bag and hat belonged to, um, you know, maybe he's got a, a, a female friend or something that belongs to somebody else on the beach, mm, I don't know, <laughs> seashells, starfish, random flowers, uh, I made his sandals black to kind of, you know, poke. I was going to do them brown, but they didn't pop. Like, they would have just been more brown on the sand. There was entirely too much brown going on. And I like yellow and purple together, so that's why I did that. And his beard is gray, and um, he's obviously Jimmy Buffett. And so I called it, it's five o'clock somewhere. I always name my pictures. That's part of the fun for me. So that is my picture, and oh, I didn't show you the book that we are using, and you can get it off internet, if you get it off the online internet, I think Amazon Prime. This one is large print coloring book, and I have several of these. I bought in different ones, so that if a picture comes up that I'm not feeling the love for, just because I don't think I would do it justice, I'm trying to find one. Well, as if. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I'm all that, but it's ones that I don't think will be that much fun. And, of course, oh, okay, I'm not crazy about this cat. And um, there's a Mandela, I think, that I didn't care for. I'm getting a little tired of fairies. I don't know. So I will go off plan, which is fine. She says you can do whatever you want, color whatever you want, draw something and color it, you know, whatever you want to do. So I go and get another picture out of another coloring book, and I um, like the large print like she picks out, Rosemary, because they just seem to be easier. I have arthritis in my hands. I'm in my 60s. You know, it's just easier for us when we get older to not have to do a lot of tiny detailed work with our vision and our hands and that kind of thing. But I still like to color. All right. That's that for that, and if you stuck around this long, I sure appreciate that, and I hope that you will um, consider getting in on this collab, and even if you don't, consider watching all of the other um, ladies and gents who have put up pictures for this particular collab. Uh, Rosemary is a wonderful person. She uh, has a lot of other things on her channel. She plays... Um, I don't know what it is. I would say it's an electric guitar. I, she has some good music. Um, you know, that kind of thing. She makes beaded jewelry. She makes pens. You know, those beaded pens. I have one around here somewhere. I have several, but I don't know where they are right now. Anyway, not hers. Just a, an example. Let's see what else. Oh, let me tell you this one last thing, and then I will let you go. This is going to be such a dumb short video. I wish it had been longer. But anyway, <laughs> I know I hear people say that they prefer longer videos because they can listen to them while they, like, say, put away the dishes or something and not have to stop what they're doing, wipe off their hands, whatever, you know. So um, last night we had a heck of a storm. It was amazing. It was so much fun. Well, actually, it was so Saturday night that we had the storm because I'm filming this Sunday to put up Monday so how's that okay so Saturday night and I'm in the Pacific Northwest I'm about 65 miles from Seattle ish um, you can either take the ferry boat across the water to Seattle or you can drive around and in my opinion it's well worth the ferry trip because traffic is always snarled there's always something going on you know not just accidents but Especially this time of year, festivals to do with like the oh sea fair with boat races on Lake Washington and so anyway, it's better to go by ferry and it's a fun ride. You just sit there and relax, you know. You can drive your car right onto the ferry. How's that? Yeah. Um. When I got here from Oklahoma, I was like, what? <laughs> You know, my in my head, they said, okay, because there's a drive-on ferry to go to Seattle, and if you want to go to the Navy base across the water from us, you can use the foot ferry. When I heard there was a foot ferry, I swear I'm not making this up, I was 19 at the time, I, in my head, 
thought we were going to stand on a big raft and some guy with a long pole was going <laughs> to shoot us across there, you know. No no motor, no walls. People just accidentally fall in, you know. <laughs> it's not like that. They call it a foot ferry because you can't take a car on it. You, there are actual seats and tables and walls and windows. <laughs> that because the only thing I could think of was like a Huck Finn you know like like that uh, you know they're barefoot and wearing those blue jeans that come just past their knees because they're way grown out of them but they're still wearing them because it's hard times yeah anyway where was I going with this uh oh where I live yes so I'll show you if you're new I live in the forest there's the trees. And they were a blowing last night. And the lightning was cool and the thunder actually rattled the house. It was the coolest thing. I loved it. Um, anyway, we don't get them very often. And um, it was an excitement to me, a big one. I We sat, the, the adult kids of mine and I, uh, three of them, sat out on the um, front porch. It's covered, so it's not dangerous or anything. Well, I guess it would be dangerous if it hits you, but it, it's not as dangerous as standing in the yard. But anyway, we we sat out there and we laughed and we talked and we had just a good time. And there is a smell in the air that comes with a storm that, to me, brings um, the same kind of brain chemical as if you were to give me a chocolate cake and tell me go eat this whole thing and you will not gain a pound <laughs> you know what I mean just a happy chemical all right now I have babbled all long enough if you've not left <laughs> you probably have by now I sure appreciate all of you those that are subscribers those of you that are not those of you that comment those of you that don't I love you all thank you for watching I will see you Tuesday It's raining pretty good here. Lightning, more thunder. My daughter called from across town. We were hearing it, seeing it at the same time, this storm. You know, when it would lightning, we'd both say, oh, there's a big one. And we're pretty far. I mean, it takes driving probably 15-ish minutes to get to her.